Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Asha Edu Class. Today we are going to discuss the question and answers of Chapter 5 A Different Kind of School. A. Put these sentences from the story in the right order and write them out in a paragraph. Don't refer to the text. I shall be so glad when today is over. Having a leg tied up and hopping about on a crutch is almost fun, I guess. I don't think I'll mind being deaf for a day, at least not much. But being blind is so frightening. Only you must tell me about things. Let's go for a little walk. The other bad days can't be half as bad as this. Answer, let's go for a little walk. Only you must tell me about things. I shall be so glad when today is over. The other bad days can't be half as bad as this. Having a leg tied up and hopping about on a crutch is almost fun, I guess. I don't think I'll mind being deaf for a day, at least not much. But being blind is so frightening. B. Answer the following questions. 1. Why do you think the writer visited Miss Beam's school? Answer. The writer had heard much about Miss Beam's new teaching method, so he visited her school to see the new playway method personally. 2. What was the game that every child in the school had to play? Answer, every child in the school had to play the role of being blind, deaf, dumb, injured, and lame once in a term. It was a sort of game and training. 3. Each term every child has one blind day, one lame day. Complete the line. Which day was the hardest? Why was it the hardest? Answer, one injured day and one dumb day. Being blind was the hardest day. The student felt that he, she was going to be hit by something every moment. 4. What was the purpose of these special days? Answer. The purpose of these special days was to give the children a personal taste of misfortune. They learned to help the needy in society. Such training made them good citizens. A. Match the words and phrases with their meanings in the box below. Answer. 1. Homesick, wanting to be home. 2. Practically, almost. 3. It pains me, it hurts me. 4. Appreciate, understanding the difficulties. 5. Thoughtless, not very caring. 6. Exercise, test the strength of. 7. Relief, a welcome change. 8. Ghastly, terrible. B. Reword these lines from the story. 1. I had heard a great deal about Miss Beam's school. Answer. The writer had heard people praising the teaching methods at Miss Beam's school. 2. Miss Beam was all that I had expected, middle-aged, full of authority. Answer. The writer found Miss Beam a middle-aged and dominating woman. 3. I went to the window, which overlooked a large garden. Answer. The author looked out of the window and saw a large garden. 4. We cannot bandage the children's mouths, so they really have to exercise their willpower. Answer, the children had to use their willpower to keep quiet. C. Given below is a page from a dictionary. Look at it carefully and I. Find a word which means the same as write down the word and its two meanings. Answer, terrible, A. Causing fear. B. Very bad. The second, find a word meaning a part of the school year. Answer, term, A, a fixed length of time. B, a part of the school year. 3, find a word that means. Answer, est, A, to look at something to see if it is correct. Or will work properly. B, to ask someone questions. 2, now make lists of. I, all the words on the page, plus any more that you can think of, that begins with ter answer, terrace, terrible, terrify, territory, terrain. 2. Five words that may follow the last word on the page, that. Answer, those, this, theater. 3. Write down your own meaning of the word, then write down the meaning given in the dictionary. Answer, the word thank means to express gratitude for kindness, gift, or service. Example, there is no need to thank me. We thank them for all their help. She has only herself to thank for what happened. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon.